sinuses and stuff, but I've had this little thought on my heart, amen, and I hope, pray, that I can get it out just in a way, if it's five words or five minutes or five hours, I just want to try my best to get it out this morning where kids can understand this this morning. I, of church, I, I believe it's real important. I think two or three men, well, they've all kinds of messages in God's Word. Amen. But this is what God gave me. Over at Acts 27. Acts 27. Now you might think if when I read this and what I speak, you might think, well, you can read just a little lower preacher and you can have other things. But that's another message. I'll get into that here in a few minutes. Yes, God, well, God tell. Acts 27. Down in... <clears throat> Let's go to verse 30. 27 and verse 30 of Acts. And as the children were about to flee out of the ship, for they had let, let down the boat into the sea under cover, as though they would have cast anchor out of the foreship. Paul, is what he said now, Paul said to the centurion, and to the soldiers, except these abide in the shield, ye what? You cannot be saved. And church, I got to thinking about this, and just how many's gonna pray for me? Amen. Brother. I need prayer this morning. I got to thinking, thinking about this. I got to thinking. What's in the water? What's in the water? Amen. And I want you to really think, church, this morning, what would be in the water? Amen. As uh, Paul said, we got to stay in the boat, right? Amen. And I got to thinking, amen, in the ocean, amen, I, I, church, I cannot get in the ocean. If I get knee or, or ankle deep, I'm scared to death. Amen. Because I know what's on out there. And I know what can come back. Amen. Amen. And then I thought, church, amen, Paul plainly told them to stay in the boat. And I thought, what would be in the water for us if we was to stop, uh, jump off the boat? How many uh, times has the devil tried to get you to jump off of the boat? Amen, brother. Amen. 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 At times, church, you say, well, just jump off, you'll be all right. Amen. amen. But I'm telling you, church, we need to stay in the boat. Amen. They are trouble in the water. That's right. Amen. And let me tell you this, friend. If people get me out there in the middle of that ocean, amen, and they try to throw me overboard, you know what they're going to get into? <laughs> they're going to get in a fight. But I know what's in the ocean. Amen, church. And Lord, help. why can't we, when the devil tries to throw us overboard, why can't we say, devil, you're going to get in a fight? Amen. Amen. Because church and lot of time we just fold our arms up and we let the devil throw us over. You know that? Amen. 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 Well, thanks, church. And, uh, just from uh, I don't know why they don't matter about a lot of things we get into. Amen. This or that. Amen. We get confused. We let the devil throw us overboard. Amen. And church, uh, it, confusion can swallow you up. You know that? Amen. It can destroy you. Doubt can destroy you. Amen. Confused the church. Hey, so many people confused about a lot of ways to go. Amen. And a lot of people just want to throw their hands up and quit over it. Lord, I don't know which way to go. Church is just as plain as the nose on your face. Amen. Go God's way. Amen. You can go God's way and you'll stay on Lord. the boat, my friend. That's right. Amen. Lord, people fall as the little words, little things that people are saying, people take it the wrong way. Amen. Some people don't even know what to even say. You know that? They just want to run their mouth, but don't even know what they're running about. Don't get quiet on me now, but it's the truth. Amen. They don't know what they're even saying. Amen. My friend, I tell you, words can cut deep. You know that? They can cut deep, amen. People let the devil throw them overboard. Oh, yeah. They can be swallowed up with stuff like 
fuck you. But are you willing to fight the devil this morning? Yeah, Lord, devil, you are not going to get me out of this boat. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you are not going to get me out of this boat. Because, Lord, I know what's overboard. Church yeah. thing, death. You know, I wouldn't be afraid of the water, Michael. The water, hey, man, I wouldn't be afraid of that water. Hey, man, but I'm afraid of what's in it. That's right. yeah. Amen. They things out there in that ocean will eat you. Oh, yeah. And the devil will eat you, my friend, if you let him. Oh, man. Amen. You let him throw you over, hey, man. They are death. When they throw you overboard. Oh. And that church where you're wrestling to me this morning, they be dead. You get out of the boat, they dead. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amen. There are troubles when you get out of the boat. Right. But Paul said, just stay in the boat. Yeah. Eddie Roberts is telling you this morning, just stay in the boat. Yeah. <coughs> what is our boat this morning? Jesus Christ. Jesus. You know what Jesus is? He's our safety. Yeah, buddy. He's Michael and him say he's leaving out in the morning going down fishing, hey, amen. I don't even need to have them life jackets. You wear a life jacket out. Oh. <laughs> hey, amen. We need to have Jesus on church. Yeah, buddy. Hey, amen. Let me tell you a little story with Jesus. I mean, know that he needed to go across the lake to the other side. He looked at his disciples and said, we must go over on the other side. Right. And you know what? He met that church. He knowed he was going to get from this side to this side. He knowed what he was going to do. But what happened, amen, when he got out the storm and see, amen, it got contrary to him, did he? Right. Jesus is able to calm the seas, my friend. Oh, man, brother. Oh, man. <laughs> but always remember, please, they things in that in life, they things in life will destroy you. Right. We let the devil get into our families. Amen. And throw them overboard. Right? Hey man, look around, church. Just look around. The devil's throwing them overboard. In. We let the devil get into our churches. Throwing a lot of people overboard. Oh, yeah. Hey man, we let them get in. high, my boy, it's my word. It's the highway. Hey man, Lord help I went The pastor of the church for a little while who got confused about it left. Hey man, and went back. Hey man, as I'm walking up the steps, the man shut the door in my face. Hey man, don't want you here. What told the preacher there when I went on in, went on in anyway. When I told the preacher, don't let that fire over there preach now. Don't let him say a word. <laughs> hey man, my church, I'm telling you, the devil throw him over the board. <laughs> that thing swallowed him up. Amen. Pride will yeah. swallow you up. Yeah. Amen. Hey man. Running the church was swallowed. He swallowed a lot of people up, ain't he? Right. Wanting to run the church. You know who he needs to be the head of the church? Oh, yeah. Eddie Roberts. Yeah, no. <laughs> no way! I don't need to be the head of it. God needs to be the head of it. Amen. Jesus Christ himself needs to be the head of the church. That's right. <laughs> Amen. 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 A lot of preachers, pastors swallowed up of that. Oh, yeah. Amen. A lot of preachers been swallowed up. Look at me. Friend, if they can't see Jesus in you, we need to do something about that. Amen. Amen. Jesus is the one that does it. Amen. 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 Well, friend, they're deaf. They're deaf. And I'm trying to make some proverbs, I think, man. Those that knows to do good and do it not, to him is what? Amen. Sin. Yeah. Sin. They've got a lot of people. Hey, I'm talking about church going people. Sins right. took over their life. They you let the devil throw them overboard. Sins took over. <clears throat> Amen. And it swallowed them up. Swallowed them up. Amen. With cussing, drinking. Good night, Lord. I feel like I just need to go to church on Sundays. The rest of the week, I can do what I want to do. 
I ain't found that in God's Word, church. Amen. But I'm telling you this morning, amen, a lot of things is swallowing a lot of people up. Yeah, and it bring, it's bringing death. Yeah. Death. Amen. And it's dangerous to jump. You're listening to me this morning. Amen. It's dangerous to get out of the boat. Amen. It's dangerous. Little boy, Indian boy. Amen. He became, was becoming a man. And the only way that he was uh, through this tribe, the only way he'd become a man is he had to go out and kill something and bring it back. Amen. And when he got out, amen, he'd come across this river, up to this river and wanted to go over on the other side. He couldn't, amen, and uh, just a story now, but this uh, old rattlesnake was laying there, amen, and they, they figured, finally figured out a way to get across, amen, through that rattlesnake. When he got over on the other side, you know what the rattlesnake done? Beat it beat him. It beat him, destroyed him, church, amen. And he said, why, why'd you do that? You trusted in something that, uh, as venomous, you trusted in something that's dangerous. Church people's trusting in something that's dangerous. Sin's dangerous. Sin will send you to hell. Sin ain't no good for God's people. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I will pray somebody's getting something this morning. Amen. 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 And I've wrestled two or three days, but I, Lord, have I, I don't want to know about the Lord. I don't even need to preach this. You preach it. If the only thing you say it's dangerous to get out of the boat. Amen. It's yeah. dangerous to get out of the boat. Boy. You know, there are a lot of people used to sit here. Amen. Amen. How many can look around and see a face Amen. that used to sit here with us? Amen. You know what they've done? Amen. They've jumped out of the boat. Boy. They've jumped out of the boat. Maybe hurt feelings. Hurt feelings to get you out of the boat. You know that? Amen. 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 Yeah. What brings on hurt feelings? You know who it really is? Come on to the devil. Amen. He'll start that. He'll get the ball to rolling. Amen. After a while, Fred looked at me the wrong way. Amen. Then he looked again. I think, well, what's he looking that away for? Amen. But church, I'm going to tell you this boy, that's why the devil wants to work. Amen. Judith was scared. Amen. He got out of the boat. Well, I know he said, well, the devil hit that's the reason that man was born into this world to do what he done. I know that. But I do know, amen, when he looked at that money, looked at that stuff, amen, that 30 pieces of silver, he jumped out of the boat. Yeah. I cheers my living. Here's what will get me through. Wonder how many this morning is taking the riches of the, the love of money to what? The root of all evil, amen. The love of money, church, it got a lot of people. It's got a hold of a lot of pastors, you know that. Was <laughs> up at a church, I ain't gonna mention the name. A man was standing up there one night and talking after the servant been there to singing. And that preacher, that's needing a pastor. They need somebody to lead them, to guide them. And that preacher said, they don't take up enough money for me to pastor this church. Oh, Lord, help them. Lord, help him. Yeah, Amen. He got out of the boat. Hey, the big shark swallowed him up. <laughs> Amen. 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 Well, we don't need to put stuff on this. No. There might be somebody sitting here this morning with something on your heart that's eating you alive. That's eating on you. Friend, just stay in the boat with me, please. Amen. Yeah. Amen. They said there ain't no harm out there. Well, they harm in the world. Listen to me, they harm in the world. Amen. And the world will swallow you up. Lord, what am I going to do? That's my old young young man, amen, got a desire to hit the road. Amen. In the Bible, amen. And I I wonder, amen, about about how that he went about this. Probably for a good while, maybe people coming in to him. And that boy, it's so much better over yonder. Have you ever heard that? Oh, yeah. You deer hunters, you sit down beside of a tree and you look over yonder and you'll find a better place. You know that? You end up all day, hey man, going from tree to tree. I find uh, that boy a better place. Sometimes uh, me, I've always ended up back the same boy. It's better over there. Hey man, but this uh, young boy says, I want to go to my father and I want him to give my inheritance to me. I've heard it so much better. 
out yonder. Hey man, and went to God, Father, give him everything he owned. Hey man, there it is, take him. What happened to him, church? He crossed the Ended up with nothing. Yep. Hey man, ended up with nothing. That's what the world had to swallow you up. Hey man. Hey man. We got a community for. Hey man, said I can live right at the house. A uh, community full. I can do better at the house. I don't need to go to church. I know we've got people that cannot go to church. I understand that. I believe God understands that. Amen. Amen. But I believe for if they're able to get up and once a long tie their shoes, they're able to go to church. They're able to go to Ingalls or Walmarts. They're able to go wherever. They need to be able to go to God's house. They peace in God's house. They join. I count it all joy to come to God's house. Amen. Amen. I know we can't come every time, every time my door swings. I understand. God understands that. But friend, I'm gonna tell you after a while that'll slaughter them up. Yep. Amen. <coughs> I'll stay out today. I next week I guarantee you the devil will come on you something else. Oh yeah. Amen. I'll stay out today. Next week, I'll stay out today. They just keep the ball, just keep the rolling. And a rolling. And a rolling. I believe I'll get up in the morning. I'll, I'll just go to the flea markets. I'll go to the malls. I'll go fish. I'll go uh, hunt. I'll go wherever. Amen. And it's good to get away, ain't it? I better say that Michael's going to get away. My, my, my. <coughs> I thought about just long enough going with him. Amen. But I tell you, church, it's where the devil works. The world will swallow you up for a lot of stuff. Amen. Amen. My friend, I mean, he's listening to me, right? Everybody, just listen. Just these few words. Stay. Stay in the boat. Amen. Please stay in the boat. Amen. Don't let the devil lie to you. Because <clears throat> that, that little fella, when he got down there in the hog pants, I could just see his money spread <clears throat> each day. When he first got there, he probably said, I've got, I've got plenty. I've got plenty. And man, the next day, had to dip in it. The next day, had to dip in it. The next day, had to dip in it. And I wonder if he started getting worried a little bit about it. No doubt. Then after a while, friend, he didn't have nothing. That's what the world will do. Amen. It'll rob of everything you got. Amen. Amen. What's in the water? Amen. They stuff in the water will destroy us, church. Amen. Amen. Beside and I, you can read on a little further. You look on down in it, amen. And when it says that, that everybody, when the ship broke all the pieces, they was going with planks and stuff on. Uh, God's give me a message on that later on, on down the road. Too. Whatever it takes, stay a hold of Jesus. Hey, boy. Whatever it takes, church. Boy. We live in a, how many things we live in a crook world? Oh, yeah. Our systems, look at our systems. Church, the devil swallowed them up. Amen. Of things, amen. They have forgot God. Amen. Hey, man, look at our, our women and men today. Oh, Lord, help. Things have changed, church. Amen. 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 That's what it's getting on. Things is swallowing them up. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to fight for your salvation this morning? Boy. How many is truly willing to fight for your salvation? Amen. Amen. You're on this boat. Amen. Our boat is who now? Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, and devil's what? He's a liar and father. He's that water that's under us. Amen. Trying his best to get us to be over, overturned. Get us confused. Hey, friend, I've stood a time. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'll never preach another word. I'll never pray no more. <coughs> Devil was throwing me overboard. But I had to come to my senses, church. Oh, yes. Amen. I had to come to my senses and realize what the devil was trying to do. He just won't throw me overboard and get us to quit. No, I'm not the best speaker. Lord knows I'm not the best preacher. 
I ain't the best get our base picker. But I want to do it for Jesus. Amen. I just want to do it for Jesus, Amen. church. To try to help somebody tell you to just stay. Stay in the boat. Amen. It'll be worth it. Amen. Give me now, it'll be worth it. Oh, yeah. There'll be no way under the stars that I think get me on the boat and go out there and what they do, the big fishing things, the dangerous thing in the world now. Number one danger, what do they call it? Deep sea fishing, I won't call it. There'd be no way, church. I, they, I couldn't stand that because I went down here and got out for two hours. Amen. And I've never been so sick in all days of my life. Man, this colored woman stayed over the trash can the whole time. I throwed up and throwed up and throwed up. Amen. But I know after a while that boat was going to take me back to life. Yeah. I know, church, that one day Jesus is going to get me there. That's right. <laughs> when I know he's going to get us there. That's right. We just need to stay in the boat, said a friend. Yeah. Will you stay in the boat this morning? Yeah. Please, friend, listen to me. Just stay in the boat. They harm in the water. Amen. What, what this morning will be agitating you this morning? I'm sure there's something, church, the devil's trying to do to you this morning. Amen. What would it be this morning? Do you need strength this morning? I feel, I feel this, feel that. And I tell you, when we get the nudge, we just need to start doing, we need to start doing something about it. Sister Linda, come ask my message. I, church, I know I hit.